Yo, everybody on YouTube, welcome into the channel. Uh, welcome in in general. If you know Quadeca, if you don't, I'm actually fairly new to Quadeca. As you know, if you know the channel, I'm not a huge fan of YouTube rap. Um, YouTube rap can be very cringy to me with like their God complex, thinking that they got to save rap. But Quadeca is one of the very few YouTube rappers who I see has made it further than YouTube rap. Like in in my mind, the level of his production, the level of artistry, the level of his video production, he is kind of like the Joji of rap for me when it comes to when it comes to a YouTuber making it further than the platform. Quadeca is somebody that I consider that level of artist. Follow me. Holy shit, that video is mad small. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Most importantly, hit up Twitch. If y'all guys want to follow, as you can see, we're doing this live right now in front of a Twitch audience. We are also right now at the end of this video, we're building a playlist, 20 songs. If your song makes the playlist, you get a dollar cash app or Venmo from me. Uh, so those are the things that go down on stream that don't go down on YouTube. If y'all guys want to consider joining, take a link in the description. Also, Patreon, if y'all guys want to support the channel, first link in the description. There's probably about 100 reactions on Patreon right now that will never make the channel but other than that born yesterday quad deck of six minutes let's get it every day we lit you can't tell me shit r.i.p pnb rock baby y'all think quad Deca is kind of like joji-esque with his music videos they all seem very abstract His videos are all so color graded, bro. They're so nice when they're the way they're color graded. See, bro, like he's a rapper, right? But I feel like he's kind of expanded his genre this song is very genre list already like you know like the other songs that i've heard as well they don't seem to have like a genre that they fit in or, or if they do fit in the genre it's not the rap genre like you would expect Should I dye my hair blonde? Would that be a vibe? Bro, this video and this song are gorgeous. They fit so well together, bro. I've been in so many tears, I try my best not to count it. Mm, been trying to unsee how you moved on from me. The umbilical cord is still sorta of around me. Bars, bro. Bars. That's what I mean, bro. Like, you don't need, like, crazy bars, right? You don't need, like, the craziest wordplay. It's just got to fit the emotion of the song. Obviously, we're not getting no wordplay right here. It's just, like, literal lyrics, but the lyrics are hitting. Nah, I'm not going to do blonde. I'm just fucking around. If I, got two, if I get 2,000 subs on Twitch, I'll go blonde. Where the fuck are these videos shot? Because this shit is gorgeous, bro. His production style is so unique, bro. Like with the electronic EDM type vibe in the, in the background. The distortion, the editing, the effects on his voice. Bro. 
tell me this don't look like a Joji music video. You know, like just the crypticness, the scenery, the editing, the pacing, the colors. I mean, Joji's videos are a little brighter than this. This is very, this is very Kanye West nudes uh, aesthetic, but this shit is hard, bro. Where, where is this video shot? Like, where are these locations? His artistry just blows me away. Same, bro. Bro, that fucking room is a vibe. That room that we just saw right now. I wish I let that hand become me. Hard. Where's Quadeca from? Does he produce his own music? Like beat making, production decisions? I don't know enough about him to know if he does or not. How is this video so emotional with just him in it? Look at that, bro. Look at this shot. Look at this shot, bro. That shit is fucking... That looks like the... That looks like my home screen on my MacBook. If he wasn't in it, this is a MacBook home screen right here. Like, this is this is my desktop background. Holy shit. Like, how do you even... How do I even react to this song? It's like a whole experience, you know? There's not like any kind of crazy lyrics to react to, so I'm not gonna talk about the lyrics. It's more just the entire mood and atmosphere that's being provided in this song. Like the sadness. I don't know who he's talking to, but the amount of doubt, the amount of regret that you hear in the song, the pain in the lyrics, mixed with like the very cold nature that is in the music video, bro. This is gorgeous fucking cinematography, bro. Holy shit. I'm moved by this right here. And then you get like the handheld, like, handy cam footage from 1997. bro all these buildings are run down and decrepit disheveled af what do i even say about a video like this bro that's stunning i didn't mean to haunt you new album coming out we're definitely doing that on stream it'll be my first quadeca album that shit is a vibe bro that shit was a vibe oh man uh yeah it's a good track it's emotional it's moving it's like one of those you just have to take in you know what i mean just take in and enjoy it there is no reaction outside of what you feel on the inside listening to that quadic has a clear style and direction that he's gone in his career uh with his music which i do enjoy again that's what's kind of sets it apart for me in terms of him being a youtube rapper or not being one his lyrics are just so it's so much more joji than it is youtube rap and i enjoy that shit because i'm a fan of uh i'm a fan of joji he is the rap version basically of joji it's fire bro